Hello makers, so, um, you remember my pulse, this is my pulse, I do a review of my pulse, and I like my pulse, mainly because if I don't have a pulse, well, I wouldn't be here. So this, uh, this pulse is now, well, you could say it's relatively old, um, there's a new version now, and that comes packed with even more feature than this does. So a bit of an upgrade is overdue on this. Now, currently it runs on a starting standard Mark 42 bed with a PI sheet and well, that's going to change. Now, previously I've mentioned that I'm going to be building the, uh, the Megapod, Max the Megapod, which is the Hexapods or Volpo Vorpal's big brother. And that's going to require a lot of nylon. And this, this, this right here, yeah, this is for it. And Meta hackers were extremely kind to send me um, a flex blade system from Biltech. But not only that, they also send me their flexible Garolite bed. Now, for those of you unaware, Garolite is pretty much a fiberglass and epoxy resin compressed. It is pretty much the same material that is used in PCBs. This makes it extremely reliable under heat because it doesn't, well, it doesn't change shape under extreme heat. It also works extremely well with nylon, so it only makes sense for me to upgrade it. So today I'm, I'm gonna be upgrading this and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing. So the first thing I want to do is remove the PEI sheet. Now, originally it didn't come with the PEI sheet. It came with a Biltech sheet. Um, it was a clear Biltech sheet. Um, I had changed it because I had ruined that. So hopefully this won't be too much of a hassle to take off and shouldn't leave any residue. Now that that's off, I'm just gonna clean the surface. Let's see if there's any, any residue at all whatsoever of the previous PI, which there doesn't seem to be. Except maybe a little bit here. Oh, there it's gone relatively easy to remove the PEI just a very slow process we have the flex plate system this has the magnets which will help well keep this in place so now we're going to pull this and hopefully pull it in one piece there we go. Now, just need to make sure that we have this in place. That seems in place. Now all I need to do, that's it. That is basically it. And once I print, you can just remove the bed. That is awesome. Also, since that was sent separately, the Garolite bed, I still have the actual flex plate. So I have a spare one with a build tack surface on it. So now I have two. But I'll probably end up using mostly this, especially now that I'm going to be printing lots of nylon, nylon X with that. And now that that's completely stuck there, what I'm going to do is just clean it up a little bit with some IPA wipes. Do the bed leveling and maybe put a test print on. See how it goes. While that is printing, um, make sure you guys check out Matter Hackers today. Today is their annual Blue Friday sale where you can find massive discounts. And they promised me that this year is going to be the biggest ever. The Biltec Flex Blade system, which I have used in this video, uh, is 20% off for today only. Stuff like Magigoo, which I use quite a lot of and I highly recommend, that's also up to 20% off. They also have 30% off on filamentum filaments. Yes, if you want to get your hands on some filamentum, some 
gorgeous vertical starlight. As for the Pro Series nylon that I've used today, um, they also have discounts on those. Of course, they have between 10 and 20% off. Not to mention that if you want yourself a Pulse, exceed the new version of the pulse the one i have but the much newer version well there's a hundred dollars off of that as well make sure you guys use the code blue fry on the checkout page in order to benefit from these awesome deals that meta hackers are doing for blue friday and there we have it it took like less than five minutes actually to replace which was Pretty straightforward, I, I was quite happy with that. And I like the fact that you can have a flex plate. I'm, I'm getting used to the Mark III having the flex plate. It makes it so easy to just pop parts off, um, especially like even the, the CR20. I think more companies should adapt the flex plate system or a flexible build plate. Um, it's definitely the way forward. Well, that's it for me today. Um, I hope I stood someone with this video. If you want more information on the uh, Biltec flex plate system and the Garolite bed for the nylon, um, you saw how well it sticks on the video um, with nylon that was white Meta Hackers Pro Nylon series. Um, yeah, check the links in the video description. Uh, that is it for me guys today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy flexing guys.